It's the biggest third-party release to date for Nintendo's fancy new handheld, and it's a collection of recycled content. Uh, how 3DS of you, Capcom. This is, this is Resident Evil, the Mercenaries 3D. Evidently, the 3Ds are duplicated, deficient, and deja vu. Released just last month, Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D is Capcom's first stab at the Nintendo 3DS. And as you'd expect from a third-party release on a Nintendo system, there seems to be some trepidation here. Either that or Capcom felt they needed a big-name release on the system as quickly as possible, but whatever the case, this seems like a very rushed and very uninspired package. But again, that's the package. I mean, let's be honest, this is a collection of levels, assets, and gameplay pulled from other games. To call this anything but a rush job would be naive, and the fact that Capcom is charging the full 3DS price of $40 for it makes it very easy to point that out. But, that said, this game is still addictive as hell. It's almost impossible to put down the Mercenaries 3D, which speaks volumes about the core concept. This is the same frantic gameplay mode that Resident Evil fans are familiar with, and that's the strength of the Mercenaries 3D. Unfortunately, that's also its biggest shortcoming. For the uninitiated, The Mercenaries is a kind of mini-game that's been included in every major release in the Resident Evil series since Resident Evil 3. Your mission is to permanently compromise as many enemies as you can within a time limit, racking up as many points as possible until the clock ticks down to zero. It's been dramatically refined over the years, but this is the first time it's ever been sold as a standalone product. And therein lies the problem. And make no mistake, The Mercenaries is a fantastic extra in the main Resident Evil games, but it is, in fact, an extra, a bonus, a supplement to the larger console experience. So the question with The Mercenaries 3D is really twofold. Do the gameplay mechanics work on a handheld? And did Capcom flesh things out enough to make The Mercenaries 3D seem like more than a minigame? Well, yes it does, and no they didn't. If you're a big fan of the Mercenaries mode, uh, as I am, this game's gonna be more than worth the shortcomings. The Mercenaries 3D is built upon the same ruthlessly addictive gameplay that's made my friends and I log untold hours of Resident Evil on our consoles over the years. They may seem incongruent, but it's a seamless merging of Resident Evil gameplay and the score-driven, just one more try arcade ethos. So the game itself is actually great. I have to stress that as, as contradictory as it may seem. The issue is the overall package into which it's built. For example, the Mercenaries 3D features five maps lifted directly from Resident Evil 4 and 5, and as impressive as it is to have those levels in your hands, they're places we've been before, and frankly, there should be way more of them. So it's not just a matter of recycled content, but it's also light on content. There are only eight characters, each with only two unlockable costumes. Uh, you can only play multiplayer in a few select levels. I mean, you get the idea. And although Capcom did add things like skill slotting and even a medal system, the content never really matches the price of admission. The Mercenaries is a tremendous gameplay mode, it always has been. Whether it's also a tremendous standalone game depends on your expectations. So aim cautiously at Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. Personally, I go for the knees.